Hello again and welcome back to this series on how to draw iconic transport. I hope you're keeping well and staying healthy. Now before we start, if you could subscribe if you haven't already, that would be fabulous. And of course, bring that little bell icon if you want to know what's coming up next. Okay, well the iconic transport today is the very famous broomstick firebolt belonging to Harry Potter. Okay, I used to have a Nexus 2000, but this one is far faster, one of the fastest in the world, in fact. Now what you do is, you start, imagine you're starting just right at the bit where the shaft, the handle of the broomstick, uh, joins onto the, the twigs, the birch twigs. So you get a little line of birch twigs coming across like that, going down to the first metal ring. Okay, and then out of that you get the shaft of the handle. And so what you do is draw it an angle like this, a little wiggly line coming up about there, and then there's a bit of a bump, okay, like that. And then again, a kind of wiggly line up about that length there, but the length of a pen, okay. And then the end broadens out like that, and then comes back down parallel to that line. And this time the lines are a bit more wavy, like that. Come down to that point there, and then Again, wiggly lines down to the birch twigs, okay? Now this part here is uh, almost as if the wood is twisted, like that, see? And it's uh, polished ebony. And this part here is lighter than the top part, and it's almost as if it's kind of holding on. But you get this shape coming up, joined like that, and almost like a hand or a finger going around that bit there, see that? Um, and you get the other bits of this lighter wood appearing underneath there. Okay, and on here, of course, we have the, the rune markings, which I'll show you later. Okay, let's go back down to the, uh, the birch twigs again. You can draw them in like that. Don't have to all go the same way. Some can cut across the way, almost slightly twisted. Down to the first part uh, of metalwork, which is a metal ring. Now the metalwork was made by goblins, so it's a pretty special stuff. Okay, so it's a broad band and comes down to it there. These are the two edges of the band, the band's in the middle there. And in the middle, what we're going to draw is the bipods which are attached on the side. The bipods are the footrests, okay? And they come out like this, like that. And then they do a little kind of dog leg or a shugal. We kind of we call it a shugal in Scotland. We shugal like that. <laughs> Coming right around in a curve. You can see the, the shape over there, okay? And the other one comes in carpenter down like that. So they be shugal on that side. <laughs> and then coming around in that curve there where the feet are placed into that shape there, okay? And then we have another little bit where you see the twigs coming down to the next metal band, gripping the twigs, which comes in there. Oh, they're almost a bit like napkin rings, you know? That kind of shape, like that. And uh, because they're shiny, you can probably start putting a bit of dark shadow on the underside, a little line like that, okay? We'll carry on with that later. Okay, the shape of the uh, the twigs now, the brushes are where, bring it out, the feeling out of there of course, but then it kind of broadens out, come down like that, down to the bottom which is in a kind of slightly curved shape there, and what I want you to do is just to draw the ends of the twigs. Now they're not all going to look like that, some will curve, and some will go underneath others like that. Some will be shorter, some will be slightly longer. Some will bend. Okay, just use your imagination. All the different kind of twigs coming out there, which will complete in a second. Okay, one curling around of that, another one there. Like that, okay? And uh, then you can start to join them up to this metal ring here. Now obviously you're not going to see all of the twigs. 
some of them, let's say that one there, for instance, will come up. But I was go underneath that one there and, and do that kind of shape. And we'll cross the way. And have another one coming down there, perhaps, and coming out and joining that one. Okay? So as they're all going in that direction, they don't have to go all straight. Okay? So I'm going to continue doing that, having a bit of fun. Doing all these wee wiggly shapes coming up here. And uh, I'll catch you when I've done that. Alright, I'm just finishing off the, the twig shapes now. Twisting things in behind some and keeping some straight like that. Okay, we're doing a bit of shading in a second. Moving back up now to the metal work. To get a shiny impression you can just leave a little white line and there, see, and just put a dark line around that bit. That's a bit narrow for that one. And that one there. Okay. And a little dark on the top there, but leave the middle white. And in this shape here you can run a bit of darkness up following that slightly triangular shape there. And then a dark line coming around the whole length of that thick bit of metal there. If it joins the edge, it doesn't matter. Because sometimes you get the dark shadow not showing light underneath, like that. Okay. Bring that round to there. And round like that. Okay, that gives a sense of a kind of shiny wire shape. Okay. And then we back up, you can put a bit more work up here, a few more lines on that. And of course we have the rune shapes to put in here. Now I'll show you these again. There we are, you can imagine lying on the uh, handle like that. But uh, what I want here is just an impression. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, I'm just going to put a, a very rough impression of each one coming in there. Just a suggestion of each shape like that. Now I'll leave these at the end of the drawing so you can have a good look at them and perhaps copy them yourself. Okay. Because the impression that they're all there. As I said before, they're very much like Egyptian scarab shapes. I've got them all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, just a suggestion. Okay, now what I'm going to do now is, uh, oh, before I do that, I'm going to actually uh, share in some of these gaps in the twigs here, just to make them a bit more bold. Okay, I can go back over those later. But first of all, I'm going to get a pencil and do a bit of shading. Right, I have a 6B pencil here. And uh, I'm going to start with the handle of the broomstick, the shaft. And of course, if you want darker shading, just put a bit more weight on your pencil. And the 6 is nice and soft, so you can get a nice, you know, gentle transition from very dark up to light when you take the weight off your pencil. And now you see, put weight on it, it gets dark, take weight off, it's lighter. And down here. Maybe follow those lines in a bit, like that. Okay, and underneath the bottom part, and maybe one grey line there, and there too. Okay, and then dark, and the twig shapes here. Dark underneath, because the light's coming in this way. Okay, so most of the twigs will be dark underneath. As you come down to the bottom, try and leave some gaps so the light shines through, you know. Don't shade it all in. Try and leave some little white gaps there. Like that one there, see that one? Like that one and that one there. Maybe that one too. But mainly this side here is going to be dark and the top's light. And I can shade in some of the gaps as well in between the, the twigs. Okay. Right, well, I got a pen now, and I'll just uh, 
outline some of these pen lines that I've kind of lost underneath the pencil. Just follow them down a bit more and bring them out. You can even put a bit of pen shading in between the twigs. Make them a bit more dramatic. Like that, see? Remember to leave some white bits. Like that. Excellent. Maybe you come down here with these ones that are sticking out. Good. And uh, maybe a couple more lines up here. And maybe outline that slightly more. Excellent. Good. Now, as I promised, I'm going to let you see the rune shapes again so you can have a good look at them. Okay, so there you are. I'll leave them there for a little bit so you can see them. They're all fairly distinctive, but quite a few of them, as I said, like that, 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 that. They're the scarab-like. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, I hope you can join me for another tutorial. <laughs> but in the meantime, of course, all the best and happy drawing.